I don't know how many people have this experience where a song has been written about them, but you have to go through like a range of emotions where you're like, wait, that's me. The thing I really noticed about Samantha after she transitioned, she was just a happy person and a really joyful person. I don't know if it's ever happened before. On the call sheet and in the, the conversations, it was just yoga lady. You know, it wasn't like trans woman <laughs> or, or anything like that. It was just, you know, yoga lady. You know, we're just rolling through this world. It happens to be that every single person that you're gonna see working in their yard, pushing their baby, walking down the street with their loved one, they just happen to all be trans. This is a great uh, way to send the message to the world that, you know, we're here, we're not going anywhere. It was heart melting. You know, it wasn't until I heard the song that I realized I've never heard a song about being trans before, like what it's like to be trans and transition and constantly have to assert who you are even when the world tells you otherwise. People don't really understand, like, how it can feel to be just on the outs. We all want, we want families. We, we want to have good jobs and a, a roof over our head and nice houses, you know. I served eight years in the Navy and was on submarines. I'm uh, the person that created the transgender pride flag. We're geeks and nerds. There's a saying, when you've heard one trans person's story, you've heard one trans person's story. If people just took the time to get to know their trans neighbors, their trans siblings, you know, that the, their trans coworkers, for them to see that even though that I'm trans, I can do just as much as you can. We're all human. We bleed the same blood. We have more in common than not. Being trans is just a very small aspect of me as a human being. To see trans folks who are just people, you know, just people without a, a, a T in front of their personhood or their, their humanity. It's tough, you get a lot of questions like, oh, is it, why is there a boy on the team? Uh, I wish I, I just didn't have to deal with it. But ultimately I remember that like me being out is helping people understand what being trans is. Transitioning has helped me to be fully alive in a way that I wasn't before. I feel like I'm more free. I feel like I'm more alive. I think a lot of people might have a misconception of what trans really is or what it looks like to be trans, and that's the thing is, like, it can look like anything. We didn't just wake up one day and decide. We're the bravest and strongest people in the world to get out there and live our truths and not care what people say. To be here this weekend and see all of these people come together um, has been incredibly moving for me. I mean, an all trans cast for a music video. Like, I couldn't have imagined that, you know, growing up, let alone like 10 years ago, let alone like five years ago. You're seeing you guys are pros at already, so we're gonna just practice. When you look at all those faces and you look at all those bodies, and you're just like, oh my God, they're all here. We're not going away, we're owning these streets. Everybody has a place in this world. Whatever my child tells me that my child is, that is how I will love my kid. I've lost a lot to have made it this far. I am not broken or bad or bizarre. When you have kids, you can't choose who they are. I'm Samantha.
In Glenfield, the first female cop was my mom. Conservative, tough to death, liberal.